The next tool I'm going to show you is the OECD data visualization tool and data portal. There are two ways to use the OECD data that I'm going to show you. The first one is by using uh, country profiles. I'm just going to show you Ireland, but I'll also show you how to access data for other countries. And the other way is to use the stats.oecd repository to browse by, um, by variable and to browse by theme. So the OECD is a, an international membership organization of about 37 countries, uh, generally wealthy capitalist democracies. And they host a range of data online um, that might be useful for your project. Some of you are doing comparative research where you're comparing one or more countries um, on some key measures, maybe gender outcomes or caring outcomes or income and so on. And some of you are looking to uh, gather some data to use as background to your own case studies. So if you're conducting a study on Ireland, some of you are looking for some background data on rates of inequality, labor force composition, and so on to do with Ireland. So the first place to go might be to the country stat statistical profiles. I'll put the links to both of these in the description for the video below. And we'll start with this one. So this is the OECD data uh, country statistical profile for Ireland. You'll see here that it gives uh, some headline figures on the dashboard at the top. And there's also some links over here on the left. This takes you back to the general country statistical profile menu where you can browse each of the different countries profiles. So if you wanted to compare, say, Ireland against Denmark, you could simply click into Denmark here and it will give you access to the most recent country statistical profile for Denmark. You can read it on the web, you can export it to um, PDF, you can download the data in, um, in, sp in spreadsheet format and so on. So the table that we're looking at is the table for Ireland. And you see here that it's got a couple of headline indicators. It's got its rate of economic inequality in comparative perspective. It's got its CO2 emissions. Again, if you hover over the bubbles here, it'll give you a little overview. But these are just data visualizations. It's not really what you want. You, what you want is the raw, the raw data. And you'll see here on the left hand side, there are a number of different uh, topic options. So you can browse by agriculture, development, economy, and so on, all the way down to society. So let's say we look at the society subsection. Then what this is going to give us here is, um, first of all, a set of headline indicators. So we can look at fertility rates, national population distribution, uh, migration rates, poverty rates, and social spending. We can look at the trend, so this is the time series, and we can look at the rank. This shows us where Ireland falls relative to other countries. And we can get the score here. So in terms of uh, fertility rates, Ireland currently has a total fertility rate of 1.80. Um, social spend of about 13.4% of GDP, and we can look at that change over time relative to the OECD average there. If you're looking for additional information, then you can click on the Find All Indicators on Society tab. And that will take you to um, a set of general links where you can access information on all sorts of different issues. So family benefits, public spending, um, you can look at the composition of the labor force, you can look at some profiles of unemployment, housing. So there are a lot of different topics that are covered here um, under the social category. So let's say you wanted to look at uh, family benefits, public spending, if you're looking at the balance of, or if you're looking at some uh, determinants of gender outcomes in the labor market, one of the things you might want to look at is social spending or family spending. When you click through to that, it brings you to um, the somewhat unhelpful time series chart where you can see Ireland and you can access each of the Irish data points here uh, for each of these different, um, each of these different years. And so what that is showing you then is the percentage of is the total spend on family benefits um, as a percentage of GDP spent on Ireland in Ireland. So in 2002, Ireland spent approximately 2.192% of its GDP on family benefits. So it's got a relatively high family benefit spend compared to the OECD total. It's not the highest um, to get the highest. We would need to go to uh, Denmark or the UK or Luxembourg. Again, you need to be kind of cautious with the Luxembourg uh, spending figures. Um, or to Iceland. And there's a couple of other options down here that you can uh, change the countries, you can add or remove countries in the highlight areas, you can uh, give a background to this, so you can have you know, the European Union averages, you can highlight the European Union points and so on. Um, and then further on down, you can uh, access here on the on the tabs on the top, you can look at this in map form, and you can look at it in table form. So this gives you the full the full data table here just for this measure. And then finally, if you wanted to download this, you could go to download, um, selected data or full indicator. So the full indicator will give you all the variables that it has um, under family benefits, public spending. If you just want this one, you can select this data only. 
and it will download to a table. You can open that table and then it will give you um, a data grid with all the different countries. So this is the country here on the left, Belgium, all of the time points for Belgium, and then the social spend data for Belgium over here. So you just need to be careful that you look at. You can look up the shorthand country codes as well if you want IRL for Ireland, and that gives you all the Irish data going up to about 2017. So this is how you would do it for um, for one variable. And again, you can click back through each of the different topics, the different themes. If you're looking at stuff on environment or education, you can click onto the education indicators. Again, find all indicators in education. And then you can look at uh, different rates of performance. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's um, some figures on, you know, teaching salaries, women teachers, uh, tertiary graduates by field. If you click in here, it'll give you some rates of um, some rates of graduation. So that's one way to do it. The second way to do it is to use the second link, which is given below in the description, which is to uh, stats.oecd.org. And if you're looking for, um, if your project is trying to work with sort of a bunch of different countries together, or you're looking to quickly compare across countries, or if you want to quickly see how a country compares over time to other countries, this might be the place to go. So over here on the left, you can uh, search to this in one of um, one of three ways. So first of all, you can click down through the three menus here, which I'll show you in a moment. You can click into a specific theme. So again, you can go by education, globalization, health, and so on, all the way down to social protection and well-being. Or you can look in popular queries, so some of the more popular ones. But again, for a sociology project, these ones probably aren't as relevant. So the first thing you can do is you can um, isolate this by theme. And if you look here, you'll see that the themes are organized um, according to um, according to this little sort of set of um, set of tree menus down here. So let's say we wanted to look at just the figures for social protection and well-being. And if we click on this, it will just reduce that. Uh, it will reduce that tree there just to the social protection and well-being tab. And you'll see here that it's got them organized under themes. So if we're looking for gender statistics, we can click in through this and we can find information on lots of different elements. So um, you know, by country, we can look at rates of discrimination in the family, uh, physical integrity, restricted civil liberties, um, violence against women and so on. If we click these back then, we can look into other indicators of things like entrepreneurship. So indicators of gender equality and entrepreneurship. And if you click on any of these, um, you can see here it will just snap straight away to the data table. Now there won't be data for every country in this because the availability often depends or, or, or varies um, co country by country. So if we look here now, what this is showing us is the share of self-employed people who are employers. So the percentage of the labor force, the active labor force, um, who are self-employed but themselves employ other people. So we see here in Australia, um, for men it was 8%, women it was 4% in 2017. Uh, and we've got the figures here for 2020. So by reading across and down quite quickly, we can get a look at the gender difference by comparing across countries. So if we're looking at Ireland, for Ireland, the most recent data point is 2019. So at 5.6% of self-employed who were themselves employers um, for met were met, sorry, um, of the percentage of self-employed who themselves are employers for men, this figure was 5.6. For women, this figure was 2%. So again, you can go down through all of these different gender indicators here as well, and you can look at, this is the share of self-employed in manufacturing or construction. And then you have a set of results for attitude surveys, attitudes towards entrepreneurship risk by gender. For each one of these over here on the right, if you want to know what the data is that you're seeing here, what do these figures mean, 53%, what is that? You can pull this menu out over here, and this will explain to you what the actual figure is, you'll get information, uh, you'll get links here to the OECD gender portal, which will give you more information as well. So if we wind this back, then we can look at um, some other indicators. So we've got figures on time use, um, what people do, what, the, you know, different categories of people do with their time, are they spent paying in paid work, unpaid work, personal care, leisure, and so on. If you're looking at the balance of time spent between work and caring or um, personal care or otherwise, uh, there's some family indicators in the family database um, that give you, and again, this will snap to a whole range of indicators here on the top that you can you can pull down. You can see uh, the, the marriage rate, the divorce rate, uh, the gender gap and full-time equivalent employment. So again, a lot of these different tabs, you have to look around a little bit to find these, uh, but there's a lot of information here on lots and lots of different factors, and you can very quickly start to make some comparisons between countries and over time. So if we were just to look at, say, the um, gender gaps and employment rate, 
gender gap, sorry, and employment rates. We could click that down and then it will just snap to a table. Sorry, we have to put that on a specific indicator. So the, uh, the male less female in the employment to population ratio is going to give us a table that looks like this. So again, we can start to mess around with these and get the figures just for men, just for women or for the total. Um, if we were looking at, say, social protection, we could pop out this little menu here and just close these up now to tidy it up. And we can look at recipients of social benefits. We can look at what different countries spend on social benefits. And finally, just to do one more example, we can look at um, the well-being indices. So what this is, is a measure of national level well-being. There's a little descriptor over here that talks about how this is measured. And this is based on um, surveys administered within the different countries. And they measure a whole range of different factors like um, income and wealth, uh, job quality, satisfaction with housing, social connections, and so on. And then subjective well-being, how satisfied people are with life. So you can compare quite quickly across countries and see which ones are where on average people are happiest or not. So by browsing across these different themes, you can see here that quite quickly you can get to different topics like education and training. Um, education at a glance gives you access to attainment and then attainment and earnings, uh, transitions to school rates that are in adult education, um, social outcomes as a figure here for work-life balance. There's also stuff on bullying, health status and the labor force and so on. So the figures on work-life balance um, are amalgamated from several different indicators. So this is the percentage of adults who reported that over the last 12 months, it has been difficult for them to fulfill their family responsibilities because of the amount of time they spend at work. And you can um, get this by you know all age groups. You can narrow it down by age groups, or you can look at it. it just gives the total. It doesn't break it down by gender. So you can um, compare quite quickly across countries here in terms of the different the different rates and so on. You see here these data points where these some of the information was collected at um, different time points. Some was 2015, some was 2016. So by browsing through these different tree options quite quickly, and again, what you want to think about here for your projects is just narrowing this down to a key set of variables or key indicators. Um, not very many, just a couple and just enough that you can specifically address your research question. So again, if, you are having, if you're having doubts about how to go about this, if you're worried about the selection of how do you, you know, navigate through this, what data should you be looking at, um, get in touch with me and we can arrange a session and I can walk you through um, some of the mechanics of how to of how, of how to use this tool. This is certainly a very versatile repository because it's got quite a wide, uh, quite a wide range of social and economic and um, other themes.